The Apple Magic Mouse is probably the most loved and hated wireless mouse in the world. There's a few things I really love about it and also a couple things I really hate about it. And in this video, we're gonna talk about all the pros and cons of using a Magic Mouse and if it's the right mouse for you. Let's start by getting all the negatives out of the way because there's a lot of positives with this mouse too. First, you can't charge and use the mouse at the same time. Apple put the lightning port on the bottom of it so you gotta lay it on its back like it's a turtle, plug it in with a lightning cable and leave it to charge if you run out of battery life. It also doesn't have fast charging capabilities so you're gonna have to take a break from using the mouse for a little bit before you're able to use it again. The second big con of this mouse is ergonomics. It's really not comfortable on your wrist because it's so sleek and small. It just gives you an unnatural hand position and you can find your wrist cramping up when you're using this mouse for a long amount of time. The last big con of this mouse is how you pair it to your computer and to iPads. You can pair it to a computer using a lightning cable and this works pretty much flawlessly. And then if you wanna go from using it with a laptop to a desktop computer, all you have to do is just plug it in real quick and it's magically paired just like that. Where it gets tricky is when you wanna use it with an iPad. To pair the Magic Mouse with an iPad, you have to turn it off and on Go to the Bluetooth settings on your iPad, and then it'll show up there at the bottom ready to be paired. But then when you go to reuse it with the computer again, you have to plug it back in with the lightning cable, which doesn't sound like a big deal until you go back to use it with your iPad again. And the only way you can use it with the iPad is actually by going and forgetting the magic mouse in the iPad settings, and then shutting the mouse on and off, and then repairing it again wirelessly. So it's not the most seamless experience to use it back and forth from a computer to an iPad or even from one computer to the other. I really like how Logitech has a button built into their devices that allows you to change what different device it's paired to. And I would love to see Apple come out with that on future versions of the Magic Mouse. Now that we got all the negatives out of the way, let's talk about all the pros of using this mouse. You can tell that Apple just designed this to work flawlessly with Mac OS. There's no actual scroll wheels on this mouse. It's got a multi-touch surface on it, so you can do side scroll and vertical scroll both, just using your fingers on the top of the mouse. And it's a really seamless experience on Mac OS. Another thing I really like about the mouse is the gestures that you can use on top of the mouse. You can use two or three finger swipe, and you can go between your different desktops that you have open or full screen apps. So the Magic Mouse works really well. It's super easy to use, and it just feels super natural if you're already in the Mac ecosystem. It pairs great with all the Apple laptops and desktop computers. And within Mac OS, you can easily change all the different settings like your pointing sensitivity, as well as the different gestures that this mouse has. So overall, I love this mouse. I have no problem recommending it, but I think the biggest drawback is it's just not a very comfortable mouse to use. I started using the Logitech MX Master 3S recently. I've quickly fallen in love with how much more ergonomic that mouse is over the Apple Magic Mouse. So I just wish there was some way that you could get Apple's great Mac OS integration and just how smooth this mouse works, but with a better ergonomic experience like the Logitech mouses seem to have. The white Magic Mouse is $80 and the black Magic Mouse is $100. So they're really not priced too crazy, especially if you compare it to Logitech's MX Anywhere 3S or MX Master 3S. It's a very competitively priced mouse. I would recommend buying the Apple Magic Mouse if you really like all that built-in Apple functionality that the mouse comes with. But if you want something that's a little more comfortable and ergonomic, I would recommend going for one of the Logitech MX Master Series mouses that they offer. And I have a bunch of different video reviews of a ton of those mouses as well, so be sure to check those out. If you're interested in buying a Magic Mouse, I have links in the description below. If you have any questions about this mouse or think I missed anything, leave a comment down below and I'll do my best to answer it.